new coding concepts, the Dunder string method. Okay, when you print an object, it will print out the object's type and memory location in hex. Okay, so that piece of code will print out that. So we can test that. I just copied that to clipboard. I'm going to my test.py script, paste that, save python test.py. Okay, so it's printed out main example class object at a hex representation of an instance of example class. So you can override that default behavior of Python to print something custom. And that's by implementing the string dunder method. Now dunder is short for saying double underscore. So dunder methods are predefined methods in Python that you can override with your own implementations. So let's just copy that section there. Okay, so instead of printing out that, it's just going to print out something else because I'm overriding it. Define string self. Okay, so Python exe, it now says something different. It could even be self.abc. And because I'm trying to print a string, but actually abc is an integer, I'll do string like so. Okay, one, two, three. So that's what I'm doing in the decorator code for add here. So I'm returning string self value, whatever self value equals. Same with value self value. Okay, so the string dunder method was also overridden in the prototype concept code. Just down here where I'm formatting ID self looks quite hard to read, but that's the output. So when I'm printing object one and object two in the code, I'm overriding the default behavior of Python to print something more custom. And that was it there, ID field equals type equals. So that's the ID field equals type equals. Excellent. The string dunder method is used throughout the entire course. So you'll see many examples of it. Excellent. In the next video, I'll talk about the get attribute function.